Hello friends, it is time to update your Android Studio to the latest stable version Giraffe 2022.3.1. This update has promising features like new UI theme, an updated device explorer with processors tab, new Android SDK upgrade assistant and many more. So let's see how to update our existing Android Studio to the latest version and fix Gradle errors if any. Hello friends, welcome back to Ireka Tech Solutions. On opening Android Studio, you can find the settings button on bottom left corner of the welcome page. Click on this and select check for updates to find any updates. If the updates are available, you can find an orange icon on the right bottom of the welcome page. See it is showing an update for Android Studio Giraffe version. From here you can update your Android Studio to the latest version or select an app. In the top right corner, you can find the same orange icon. On clicking this, you can download the latest updates. Or select Android Studio and click on check for updates. You can find the pop-up in the bottom right corner with the updates if any. So from here also, you can download the latest updates. Okay, click on update. These are the new features and bug fixes included in this update. Some of them I will explain in this video. Ok, click on update and restart button. It is downloading the Giraffe update. Ok, update downloaded. Click on restart. It is updating my existing Flamingo version to Giraffe version. Ok, successfully updated. You can see the splash screen with Giraffe logo. Now, it shows some of the components update message. And it is better to update them because these emulators and SDK platform tools might have updates to support this updated Android Studio version. So click on update. Select update now here. It may take 5 to 10 minutes depends on your internet speed to download all the components. Ok, installed all the components. Click on finish. Here is the list of features and changes in this Android Studio Giraffe version. Ok, let us see one by one. First change is new UI theme. To change your IDE into the new look, go to Android Studio, settings, appearance and behavior. Click on this new UI. It shows beta means it is not stable and it needs improvements but still we can use this without any major issues. Select the checkbox enable new UI, apply and click OK. It is asking for the Android Studio restart, click on restart now. This is the new UI of our Android Studio, looking great. Ok, on clicking this project name, you can view and open all the other recent projects. Next, this is the new option integrated in Giraffe version, that is make selected modules. Selecting this option will build only the current module you are working on, even if there are more than one module. And also this will allow compiling the code you just wrote without building more than that. All these tool window options are same, but instead of the names, the new UI has icons for every option. The new UI has some of the known issues also, but are not major. Ok, now let's check for build errors. Select build. The build is successful without any errors. No Gradle sync or build errors after updating to Giraffe version. That is very good. Ok, now let's run the project. Application installed successfully on the emulator. This Android Studio Giraffe includes an updated device explorer with processors tab. If you don't find a device explorer tool window option in toolbar, then go to view, tool windows, select device explorer. In previous versions it was device file explorer, now it renamed to device explorer. This is the emulator device explorer window. Files and related actions are located in the Files tab and in this new Processes tab you can view a list of debuggable processor for the connected device or emulator. From here you can select the process and perform a kill or force stop. Ok, the next update in Giraffe version is Android SDK Upgrade Assistant. 
This SDK Upgrade Assistant gives you the documentation directly in its tool window. It includes the steps required to upgrade the target SDK version or the API level that your app targets. So it filters full list of changes to only show steps relevant to your app. So it helps you save time and effort when updating the target SDK version. Okay, hope I covered uh, the major changes in Giraffe version. You can also update your Android Studio to Giraffe version to get the new UI. And there are no build or sync errors after updating to Giraffe version. If you think this video was helpful for you, please comment, like and subscribe to iRecatech Solutions. Thank you.